Do you already see cases in, in your realm, more mid to back office, where Gen AI is able to play a proper role and is not, let's say, too risky to be applied at this moment? Well, I mean, I, again, it's kind of a gray area of definition, so I think yep. to your point. Um, some of the areas that have a lot of potential, clearly in fraud, there's a lot of money being put into fraud. And yes, being predictive, looking for patterns and behaviors. I, I think what gets really foggy is not just when you have AI, but when you start to think about agentics and where you have an agent that's interacting uh, with a, say, customer to say, oh, your card was lost, stolen, or there was fraud. I'm going to go ahead and do all these things for you. Yep. Right. So that agentic aspect, then leaning in and saying, I'm calling you ahead of time. I'm not waiting till you call. Right, that's where things get really interesting and unfortunately gr more gray, more, more challenging. Because I think there is an opportunity for a lot of mistakes and a lot of um, fraud to happen to the fraud system. Yep. Know, or it's actually reaching out. I think the next stage from that is when agents are talking to agents. So I'm out looking for the best mortgage or I'm constantly, instead of a broker who, you know, maybe works for me nine to five, probably spends a half hour a day quarterly saying, can I get you a better insurance policy, a better rate on your investments or your, your deposit account, better credit card offer. It's out there 24 seven looking for you. I'm like a broker yep. and it knows what you want. It knows what you need. You control that agent. That's really neat. 